you know, I'm going to be honest. This was not exactly what I had in mind when you said you wanted to go on a date. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm interested, but really? You want to give me access to whatever it is that's in you and we can have a normal day, but you want me to use this app to control <laughs> okay yeah no I'm I get it I get it but sure whatever right <laughs> might as well and hey as long as nobody comes up and asks it's not like anybody's ever gonna know right <laughs> surely well Sure, yeah, I mean, I'm just at a loss for words, but we'll make it work. If that's what you want to do, and that's what you want to do. And honestly, it is kind of interesting to me as well. I think it'll be interesting to see your reactions to what I do. You know, the the buttons I press or whatever. Hmm, <laughs> I see. So it's like a an intensity slider. Uh, I got it. So, when I turn it all the way up like this. Okay. Yeah, alright, I'll turn it back down for you. How intense is it? Oh, so you're giving me a lot of faith and a lot of power by putting this in my hands. Is that what you'd say? Yeah, I would uh, tend to agree with you. Because if it's as intense as you say when I turn it all the way up, and I can do that at any time, well, let's just say... <laughs> I might have to torture you a little bit and uh, make you mess up sentences when you're speaking to people. <laughs> no, no, I probably won't do that. That's a little cruel, don't you think? But hey, let's, you know, let's go for a walk, why don't we? Yeah, we can uh, look at some cafes, see if we find anything interesting. Uh, yeah, come on. What's the harm in it? <laughs> Just right down the street. We won't be too far from our house if you decide to... need to relieve yourself further, I suppose. Oh, come on. There's no risk to it. There's all reward. Worst comes to worst. Somebody has a bad interaction with you and you have to excuse yourself. They're probably going to forget about it by next week anyways. <laughs> Listen, you are your own worst critic. I guarantee you that people, especially like service workers, experience far worse than somebody who's a little bit nervous every single day. You're just going to be a slightly unusual customer <laughs> and nothing more. But we know the truth, don't we? Well, mm, here, hold my hand, will ya? Good, so now, when I do something like this and turn it all the way up, just in short bursts, you'll feel weak in the knees, won't you? <laughs> I can see your thighs shaking a little bit. It might have been a mistake for you to wear a skirt. <laughs> but hey, who am I to judge your choices, right? What about a low, constant vibration? Like a 
two or three out of ten. How does that feel to you? Well, you're already messing up words, so I guess it feels pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> That's fair, I guess. Low and consistent would feel better in the long run than any sharp, small bursts. I bet those are more surprising and maybe even painful than anything else. Oh yeah. <laughs> I bet if I turned it up right now you'd be a mess. But I'll leave that for later. You're bright red. I'm surprised people aren't looking at you more. No, I'm kidding. You're not that red, but... You do look flushed, that's for sure. I mean... Maybe I'm just noticing it because I know the context. I don't think anybody would actually notice, you know, just by looking at you. But... Knowing what's going on under there is definitely amusing for me. You know what? I think you were right. This is definitely an interesting way to have a date. <laughs> All right, let's take a break, shall we? Yeah, we can just sit down. We've been walking for a little bit, and I'm sure your legs are tired, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that's what I expected. So now that you've sat down, will you be upset with me if I turn it up? <laughs> Poor you. Well, you don't have a choice. Let's bring it up to five or six, shall we? I think it's funny how cute you are when you try not to squirm. Pushing your hands in your lap like that. You're embarrassed, I can tell, but you're hiding it well. Or well enough, at least. You just look socially anxious, if anything. <laughs> Instead of whatever the mix of emotions you might be experiencing are. You're also keeping awfully quiet, I gotta commend you on that. I mean, your speech is suffering, but it's not like you're whimpering at all. You're not especially quiet normally, so I'm proud of you for being able to keep it in like that. You're showing a lot of restraint, I can tell. Yeah, no, I mean it. This is sort of an endurance exercise for you, isn't it? Or like a, an overstimulation practice. I bet you'd go a little bit crazy if I went in and kissed your neck right now. You're lucky I won't. I don't want to stir the pot too much, so to speak. And have you cut the date early to take me home. <laughs> That would just be inconvenient if you ask me, because I'm starving. Oh, come on. You can at least afford me a little bit of food, right? We went on a date for a reason. We might as well go to, like, a cafe or something, right? <laughs> okay, good. At least I get to eat something. But... I'll give you a couple minutes more so we don't have to get up too quickly. I'm sure your legs are really weak right now. And if you got up right now, I'm not sure if you'd be able to stay standing. Well, that would be a kind of a funny thought. <laughs> Do you like it when I put my hand on your thigh like that? I mean... Your legs are crossed tight and clamped together, but I'm sure this makes you feel a little tingly now. You've always been a little bit sensitive, so... To have these sensations clashing, I'm sure it's intense. <laughs> well... Maybe I'll 
experiment a little bit more with different sensitivities and strengths when we're actually at the cafe. For now, I'll turn it down and let you enjoy some rest, so to speak. You're going to need it if I'm going to be torturing you in that cafe. <laughs> Good luck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 